Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mysteries of the Let's Play. Last episode, we took a deep dive into the oldest line on the server, the Spawn Grand Circular. Today, we will take a look at another line that has existed for a while, the Southwest Plains Line. As the first line operated by Wilds Railway, it was originally called the Southwest Wild Line during the proposal phase. It was originally designed to connect from Spawn to Southwest Plains. However, as the line was being built, other railway operators started to claim platforms at Spawn Station. As a result, the line was extended in the other direction instead. At present, this line has six stations connecting Lake City to Changshu Chao. Wilds Railway is run by Navi a staff member of the Minecraft Transit Railway Discord server. The Southwest Plains line was his first ever project on the Let's Play, with custom announcements narrated by Navi himself. Rolling stock includes custom-built SP-1900 trains from Japan, each with a unique color. Unlike the SP-1900 trains operated by the Hong Kong MTR in real life, the custom-built trains on the Southwest Plains line were designed to use a 600-volt third rail instead of an overhead wire. The LU crossbar block was originally used as a third rail, but this design has been scrapped as its hitbox intersected with the bottom of the train and affected passenger movement inside the vehicle. Although the hitbox of this block has now been improved, Navi thought that it was, quote, very ugly on curves and slopes and is really a pain on adding them back." End quote. Let's explore each station in detail, beginning at the southernmost station, Lake City. As the only station in the world with four terminating lines, it is an important transport hub serving the Southwest Plains Line, Lakeside Mystic Line, Tingun Line, and the airplane route known as the Circulator IP. The Lakeside Mystic Line and the Tingun Line are connected through the paid area, but any other interchanges will require players to pass through ticket barriers. The reason for this design dates back to August when the Lakeside Mystic Line was planned, because the original operator requested a station structure separate from Wilds Railway section. There are plans to connect the stations, but the timeline is unclear as multiple railway operators are currently occupied with other projects. Lake City is also one of the stations that have been featured the most in video intros for this channel. The next station is Shek Tan Island, which means Stone Beach Island in Chinese. All underwater tunnels on the line are constructed with reinforced glass carefully engineered to minimize impact to the environment and marine life while providing spectacular underwater views to players. Shektan Island mainly serves campers looking to spend a relaxing weekend on the island, so usage of the station is low. As we head towards Southwest Plains, where this line derives its name from, we pass a section insulator where no electricity is delivered to trains. Many riders are anticipating the opening of the Elizabeth Line and the Cyanex Subaru Line at Southwest Plains, which will use new underground spaces and elevated platforms respectively. Legend says that some players have spotted mysterious creatures at the cave located near the end of the northbound platform, although scientists have not found any evidence for this claim. After that, we arrive at Birch Hill. Passengers can interchange to the WLT Line 1 Phase 1 here. This is the only station on the Southwest Plains line to use KCR door closing announcements instead of Wilds Railway door closing announcements. <laughs> The next station is Haruka Island, designed after Koholint Island from The Legend of Zelda. To maintain the beautiful and open design of the station, 
Haruka Island does not include escalators. The careful use of platform screen doors and automatic platform gates complements the artificially designed underground grasslands. The station has three exits, one of which can go beyond the island, leading to Cadence Hill. Finally, we enter Chongshu Chao, which means Hamster Island in Chinese. As we can see, the island does in fact look like a hamster. Bus Route 1 serves the station as well, providing players a convenient connection to spawn. A majestic fountain in the middle of the concourse makes the station come alive. As we get on the bus, we remember the missing portion of the Southwest Plains line that would have connected Changshu Chao to spawn. Perhaps one day, platforms can be rearranged at spawn to allow for this to happen. This has been Mysteries of the Southwest Plains Line. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.